Hello and welcome to this video. This is Catrix and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at rigid groups. So by default, whenever you make separate components that are part of a, a assembly, for example, like this, we want, we want it to be treated as a single component, really. Like if we want to move it, we want all the pieces to follow. But if we try to move it, we can see they just kind of all separate and that's no good. Even if we go to M, which is for move, and go to components and select one of them, we're gonna move only that segment, that piece. So, well, we could make a joint or we could wrap it in a another component, essentially making it as a assembly file. One of the simplest ways you can do uh, to treat this as one object while maintaining its separate component uh, design, you can go to assemble rigid group and if you get this, it essentially means that the models that you have are in a different position from when you first created it. For the most part, is you want to go and capture position because you moved it for a reason. So let's just go to capture position. Otherwise, continue will go back, snap back to where you first created these models. So I'm going to go to capture position. So you can see it doesn't move when we do that. So now what we want to do is select the components we want to be part of this group. So I'm going to select everything in this design. So yes, you most likely want to create uh, select include child components. So that's anything within these components. So components inside these components. So we're going to go to OK. And now if we you can see under joints, we created a rigid group one. So we can rename that if we like or whatever. So if we try to uh, move it now, you can see it's all one piece. Even if we go to M for move and components and then select one of these components. And if we drag, it's all one piece and that's perfect. So that just allows us to create something with multiple components, but treat it as one component without having to create a assembly file. So that's useful when you're importing it to different file and using and creating the joint. All the things stay in place as they should, whereas if you don't have them as a rigid body or rigid group, sorry, all your components will just kind of disassociate from each other. So if you try and rotate it when it's part of a joint, things will be left behind and won't be, you know, stuck together like this, for example. So yeah, that is just a short video on, actually, I'm going to first, um, before I go, I'm going to just say, if you ever want to, if you ever want to kind of suppress that rigid group, then obviously just go to right, just right click on rigid group and go to suppress. So what does that allow you to do? That allows you to move them like you could before. But as soon as you go to right click and unsuppress, then everything snaps back into how the rigid group would be uh, kind of formed. So you can also go to edit rigid group and you can add more components to that if you want. And uh, yeah, uh, if you just wait for that, that's about it really. So you can rename this to uh, shoes holder group. And we can also just delete the group. So we don't want it anymore. Then we got original functionality back. So yeah, so I hope that helps and uh, uh, I'll catch you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Or if you found it horrendous, please feel free to insult me in the comments. And while you're here, don't forget to check out the previous video if you haven't already. And the next video. Catch you in the next one.